Um, I wanted to speak about something I've been thinking on, and that's drawing near to God. Um, what we need to draw near and how we um, are to draw near and what we um, have been able to make what we've been made able to draw, how we've been made able to draw near. Um, Hebrews 10, 22 says, Let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with pure water. In order to draw near to, to our Lord, the scripture says that we must have a true heart. This true heart is a heart that's not defiled. It's a heart that's wholly and completely devoted to the Lord. Sister Tasha spoke about... Um, this new heart um, in the ladies' meeting Tuesday in Ezekiel 36, 26, a new heart will I also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put it within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. To have a true heart is a requirement. It's not an option. This heart is given to us by Christ, and having it is the only way that we can approach God with boldness and confidence. This heart must be maintained by continuously looking to Christ reading his word and living your life for the Lord. The scripture also speaks of having this true heart and full assurance of faith. Having full assurance of faith means that you have um, entire and complete confidence that when you draw near to him that he, he will receive you. Assurance is defined in the dictionary as freedom from doubt. And I really like this um, definition because this is what Christ has given us, freedom from this world, freedom from this vile body, and... Um, only in the flesh does doubt occur. So um, this assurance only comes by our faith and what Christ did for us when he died on the cross. And this is something which comes from God, not by any man. And faith only occurs in those who believe. So only through a strong faith will this assurance remain, and only then are we able to come boldly to the throne of God, where we gain the benefits that were given to us through Christ. Um, we have been able to draw near to God through Christ, and Christ is the only way that we can come to God. We must be completely aware of the fact that we have been forgiven and cleansed of our sins, and um, our hearts must be sprinkled from an evil conscience, conscience and, and Jesus' blood was the only thing that could do this, through our bodies being washed with pure water, which is our baptism in, into Christ. So in this posture of drawing nearer in confidence and assurance, it's our aim to consistently do this consistently without wavering. The next verse says, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. So brethren, tonight I want to encourage us all to continue to draw near to him, to do as the text says, to hold fast, not allowing ourselves to be drawn away, not allowing anything to come between us and our Lord. Let us not take, a, take for granted the ability that we have been given to draw near to him. And just as Brother Ricky commented this morning, that we are at our best when we are near him. This is our desire. This is our desire to be near him. So I just want to thank the Lord today that he has made a way that we can come to God, that, that we um, can obtain this true heart. And, and that is through Jesus Christ. Thank you, brethren. Amen.